This Hostinger tutorial is your quick and practical guide to getting started with hosting. Whether you're setting up WordPress, moving an existing website, exploring other CMS options, or checking out Hostinger's website builder, I've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to make the most of what Hostinger has to offer. Before I can show you how to install WordPress, you'll need to choose the plan best suited for your website. If you're unsure, I recommend starting with the most affordable option, shared hosting. For a first website, it's a great choice, cost effective and beginner friendly. With my hosting or coupon code found in the description or scanning the QR code, it's even more affordable. Plus, just like every other hosting or plan, it includes a free domain for the first year. When comparing Hostinger's entry-level plan to other popular providers, the difference is clear. Hostinger offers 100 websites and 100 gigabytes SSD storage, while Bluehost and HostGator limit you to just one website and 10 gigabytes SSD storage. Hostinger also offers a range of plans to fit various needs, all packed with exceptional value. Hostinger includes features like automatic backups, even in their cheapest plan, when other providers typically reserve it for pricier plans. Every plan is WordPress optimized with pre-installed plugins to manage updates, security, and technical setups, so you can focus on growing your site. If you outgrow shared hosting, upgrading to a better plan is simple. For those seeking enhanced performance at a reasonable cost, VPS hosting is an excellent option. It's particularly well-suited for larger websites like e-commerce stores or high-traffic blogs. For experienced professionals needing even greater resources, cloud hosting provides tailored solutions designed for a single client. And with that, we've covered the main types of website hosting plans. Now that you've chosen your plan, let's move on to how to make a website and bring it online. To do this, you can either use a content management system or a website builder. The great thing about Hostinger is that it offers both options within a single subscription. Their website builder is especially beginner friendly with an intuitive interface and helpful guidance every step of the way. Prefer using a different platform to build your website? That's perfectly fine. Hostinger doesn't lock you into their builder. You can take advantage of WordPress or explore many other CMS options whenever you're ready, but more on those later. Now, let me show you the WordPress setup. Hostinger makes it easy. In the H panel, select websites and then click on add website and choose WordPress. Then create a password and username for the admin account. I recommend using your email address as a username and utilizing the auto generate feature to create a strong password. Next, choose the type of website you wanna create. If you just select an online store or an affiliate marketing site, you'll have two options. Use the new Hostinger WordPress AI Builder or select from pre-built websites and themes. Keep in mind, the AI Builder doesn't support e-commerce just yet. For this Hostinger Beginner's Guide, I'll go with a blog and use the AI option since it's a fast and innovative way to build your WordPress site. The next step is to choose your domain. It's a straightforward process. If you purchase Hostinger through our links in the description, you'll get a free domain. If you haven't claimed it yet, you can do so right here. Simply type in your desired domain to check its availability. Alternatively, you can opt for a temporary domain and move forward with the WordPress installation. After that, you'll need to name and describe your website. The AI will create your WordPress site based entirely on this input, so don't hold back. Provide a detailed and clear prompt. Once that's done, all you need to do is wait for your website to be built. If the results aren't quite what you expected, no worries, you can always start over. And if it's a good starting point, you can jump straight into edit mode. Since this isn't a full website building tutorial, I'll leave it here, but don't worry. I'll be making a video on the new WordPress AI builder soon. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. If you prefer to build an e-commerce site or create your website traditionally from scratch without AI, you can easily do so. Just select that option after completing the admin account creation step. For this approach, I recommend using Astra, a versatile and highly popular vendor that's reliable and widely trusted. Next, you'll encounter an extra step that wasn't included in the AI Builder workflow, selecting plugins. I suggest keeping Google Site Kit for seamless access to analytics and performance insights. Most other plugins operate on a freemium model, offering basic features for free while charging for advanced functionality. The good news? You can install and uninstall these plugins effortlessly and access additional recommended options at any time, giving you the flexibility to customize your site as needed. All right, your website is up and running and WordPress is installed. 
But this wouldn't be a complete Hosinger guide without covering a few more essential features. One standout feature is the specialized WordPress tools Hosinger offers. Let's head back to HPanel and take a look at the WordPress dashboard together. Right from the start, it gives you a quick overview of important details, such as your PHP and WordPress versions. Scrolling down, you'll find options to easily install Hosinger's recommended plugins or even set up a new WordPress instance. Additionally, the dashboard allows you to keep an eye on your SSL certificate status, see your site's database name, and enable daily backups for added security and peace of mind. These tools make managing your WordPress site incredibly streamlined and efficient. But the real powerhouse of Hosinger's WordPress tools lies in the core section. This is where the magic happens. First up, I always recommend enabling the Force HTTPS option. It's a game changer for ensuring smooth and secure SSL configurations. It automatically redirects all traffic to the HTTPS version of your site, keeping everything secure without any hassle. Next, if your project is still under development or you need to make changes behind the scenes, you can activate maintenance mode. This feature lets you display a custom message to visitors, letting them know the site is temporarily unavailable. It's a simple yet professional way to manage your website updates without disrupting the user experience. I love that I don't need to install extra plugins to toggle these settings. It's all built right in. I also like to keep the Lightspeed option active since Hostinger's Lightspeed configured servers deliver a major boost to my website's performance. Plus, there's an integrated caching system, and with just one click, I can flush the cache to refresh my site. Here's a bonus. There's a fully integrated Google PageSpeed Insights tool. I can run tests on both mobile and desktop versions of my site as many times as I want. I recommend doing it at least once to ensure your site is optimized and performing at its best. Next, let me walk you through which settings to adjust and how. To manage your resource usage, head over to the hosting section in your H panel, then click on the Manage button. Here, you'll find an overview of your hosting plan's performance. This section provides key details, such as used storage and inodes, giving you valuable insights into your resource consumption. By keeping an eye on these metrics, you can plan your hosting resources more effectively and ensure your website operates smoothly. Additionally, it shows how efficiently your allocated resources are being utilized, helping you make the most of your hosting plan. A standout feature is a built-in malware scanner, which detects threats free of charge, something many providers charge extra for. Additionally, the WordPress dashboard includes an AI troubleshooter that scans for critical issues. Beginners will especially appreciate hosting your security checks, ensuring installed plugins and themes are safe. If there's a problem, it identifies the issue and sometimes even resolves it when you update. While there's more to explore in the settings, these are the key things to help you get started. So far, I have shown how do you host a website if you don't have a website already. But if you do, transferring an existing website to Hostinger is a simple and hassle-free process, whether you choose the auto-transfer tool or prefer a manual approach. From Hostinger's H panel, navigate to the Websites section, click on Add Website, and select the Migrate Website option. Here, you'll need to provide your current hosting details, such as your login credentials and the URL of your site. Once submitted, the migration tool handles the transfer of all your files and databases, ensuring a smooth transition. You'll receive a notification as soon as the process is complete, making it a seamless way to move your website to hosting. For manual transfers, start by exporting your website files and database from your current host using tools like PHP My Admin. Upload these files to Hostinger through the File Manager in HPanel. Create a new database in the Databases section and import your database file. Next, update your configuration files like wp-config.php for WordPress with the new database details and point your domain's DNS to Hostinger servers to go live. That might seem complicated at first, but if you follow these steps, it should be a breeze. And if you have any questions, you can always contact Hostinger's 24-7 support or leave a comment down below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Now, setting up other CMS platforms is not as difficult. During your website's initial setup, choose a CMS like Joomla or Drupal and Hostinger will handle the installation. You can also use the auto installer tool in HPanel by selecting your CMS, filling in a few details and letting Hostinger complete the process in minutes. 
Hostinger stands out by offering these services for free, including website migration, the auto installer tool, and SSL certificates, while many other providers charge extra. So if you want a reliable and cost-effective solution for transferring your site or starting fresh, Hostinger is my top recommendation. So in this hosting tutorial, I've covered mostly how to use WordPress Hostinger, but many of you don't really need the complexities that come with WordPress. Even though now you can build your WordPress site with AI, there are still plugins and other technicalities you will have to deal with. If you don't want that, there is an easier option using Hostinger Website Builder. It also has AI functionality to build it for you. I even have a tutorial for that, so check it out. And that's the gist of this Hostinger tutorial. It's a simple process. You only need to decide on the type of website you desire, pick the most suitable hosting plan, and lastly, either upload or craft your website, which is super simple with the tools Hostinger provides. So if you're ready for that, don't forget to use my discount for the best hosting pricing. Thanks for sticking around until the end of my Hostinger tutorial 2025. I hope you're feeling ready to dive into building your dream website. Stay tuned for more tips and until next time, happy hosting.